I wanted to do an update video about things that are going on when it comes to commission and the buyer's commission, seller's commission, and, and the lawsuits going on that I know you guys know about. And I sent out a really cool video about it in the email today. It's not of me. It's a really, really cool video. Um, but if you guys pay attention to the real estate news, you know that the Remax lawsuit was settled last week at $55 million. There's two more lawsuits to go that are really, really important to set the precedence. One of them starts October 16th. That is right around the corner. That It's a biggie. The second one is, is due to start at the beginning of 2024. But again, this is supposed to lay out how realtors are supposed to handle buyer's commission going forward and the transparency of that, right? I just, I wanted to encourage you guys that if you have not had this conversation with your broker on how you were supposed to be speaking with your clients, whether it's the buyer or the seller about commission, make sure and do that. Maybe have just a scripting conversation to make sure what you're saying. And I know sometimes it's embarrassing to tell them how you've been saying it, but just do it. Because at the end of the day, if, if, if a lawsuit comes about because of something you've said, it's not against you. Your broker is going to be the one that has to deal with it. And so I just, I encourage you to make sure that whatever, however you're saying things, that you're saying it in the way that your broker would approve. And however, they would give your blessing on how you are explaining the commission to the buyer or the seller. So for sure, for sure have that conversation about scripting with them. Um, the second is I was actually talking to a realtor today and she was explaining to me how she explains commission. And I thought it, I, Again, I, you know, you guys know I'm not a realtor, but I just, I thought it sounded great, but the way that she explained where all of it, you know, where the 6% goes to when she talks to the seller, because she tells them I charge 6% and then I, my decision is to split that 6% with the other realtor. And she tells them that out of the 6%, 3% goes to the buyer's realtor because she chooses to split it with them. And then 1% goes to taxes, 1% goes to the broker and goes to marketing costs and all the costs that are involved. And then at the end of the day, I make 1% as well. And so I just thought that was such a beautiful way to explain it. Now, you know, it come in two months time, this, that could be completely out the door and there'll be a whole new way, way to explain it. But I just thought it was a great way that maybe you can also discuss as a scripting way to explain these things. And maybe you're doing it already. So go you if you are. That's all I got. I am, I got your back. I'm in your corner and we will get through this together and I will continue to provide the updates as I know them or hear them um, because I want you guys to be completely knowledgeable of what's going on. I'll talk to you later. Bye.